Hey, I'm John Jervich, but you can call me Mr. J. I'm an artist, a parent, and the 2018 Ohio Teacher of the Year. One of the most challenging lessons children are faced with is how to recognize and understand their own emotions, how to honor anger and sadness, how to move through disappointment. Even big, joyful moments can be really confusing. In study after study, kids who can name their feelings are more confident and successful at school and at home. In my professional life, it's called social emotional learning. But as a parent, even I struggle with teaching my kids how to name their feelings in ways they understand. That's where I hope the series Drawing with Mr. J comes in. Drawing is a great way to start the conversation. In this series, I take kids through a series of drawing challenges that are fun, quick, and easy. We start with the challenge of the day. Then we ask questions about how our faces may express emotions. Then I get to share what emotions may feel like in our bodies. You can use this series to talk with your children. Set aside some quiet one-on-one -on -one time. Draw along with them. And trust me, you don't have to think of yourself as an artist. Simple lines and shapes can help anyone join the fun. And it's important to remember that emotions are hard to understand. So give plenty of time for discovery and explanation. Don't forget that you should share with your children personal examples of your own emotions and how you worked through them. I remember when I was a kid and some adults would address my emotions in a way that wasn't comfortable. Stop crying or get over it. Don't be such a hothead. Remember that denying emotions can be really damaging. Let your children know that emotions are an important way of understanding our world. And no matter what, you'll process them together. Holding space for emotions is important and planning a way to understand them is key. Keep your tone light and supportive and take your time. Remember, the stronger the emotion, the more confusing it might be to feel it and name it, especially if there's more than one emotion involved. Use drawing as a tool to explore all kinds of feelings. Post them all over your house to keep the conversation going. Once you start, you'll be surprised how easy it is to just keep talking about what's going on inside. Thank you.